What's up YouTube? Got a small haul I want to share with you guys today. For the new year, this is my first pickup of 2024 and as you can see, it's some New Balance pieces. Over here, I got a pair of 998s in the olive slash incense colorway. And then here, I got a long sleeve t-shirt in the true camo colorway. These are both made in the USA pieces and I'm really digging that collection. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna do a quick review, talk about sizing and fit, quality, and then I'll talk about whether these pieces are worth the steep price point. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, first let's talk about this long sleeve shirt. As I mentioned, I got this in the true camo colorway, which is basically a bit of a faded hue of olive. This shirt retails for $75, which I'll admit is quite steep, but fortunately I was able to get this on a little discount. In terms of the shirt design, there's really not much to say aside from the fact that there's a little red New Balance patch on the left side of the chest, but otherwise there's really not much else to it. This shirt is made with 100% cotton, and again, it is made in the USA, so quality-wise in hand, it feels decent. I can't say that there's anything crazy about it, it's a little bit lightweight, but yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much all there is to say about the quality of the shirt. In terms of sizing and fit, I would generally recommend true to size. This shirt does run a bit on the slim end. For reference, I am 5'8 and about 150 to 155 pounds. I ended up getting this in a size small, which pretty much worked out for me. Again, aside from the fact that I thought it would be a little more oversized, but it actually does fit on the slim end. So I'll put a b-roll of the dimensions of the shirt, again this being a size small, but basically the pit to pit dimensions is about 19 inches, the length of the sleeve is 28 inches, and the height, which is the top of the shirt to the bottom of the shirt, is about 29 inches. So for me, being 5'8", size small worked out in terms of the length of the sleeve as well as the height of the shirt. However, this being a slim fit, I felt like it was a little snug or tight around the chest and the torso, as well as the roominess in the sleeves. Although the length was fine, the roominess was a little bit tight. It borderline felt like a muscle shirt, so if you're looking for something a little more relaxed or if you want that kind of streetwear aesthetic, or if you just want a roomier feel, I would definitely size up. Alright, next let's talk about these sneakers right here. These are the 998s in the olive and incense colorway. I'm not going to talk too much about the details of the shoe, but I will say that just having these in hand, these shoes are amazing. The materials on this sneaker is just super buttery from the soft suede to the soft mesh paneling on the shoe. The colorway is just immaculate with the faded olive that they used on the sneaker, the subtle cream and tan hits, the reflective paneling on the back of the heel, the absorb technology on the midsole. Everything about this shoe, I just really like. Again, I'm really in love with this colorway and I can really see myself rocking these in the spring and summertime later this year. The sneakers itself come with two pair of laces, a pair of white laces as well as cream laces. I love both options. I think both options work perfectly with this shoe. Personally for me though, I'm just gonna keep the cream laces on just to keep it a little more subtle and muted. The white laces would look great to help the N logo stand out more but personally for me, I'll go with the cream laces. So yeah, I really like these two pieces. I could see these pieces being my go-to staples for the spring and the summer. Although these two pieces are technically different hues of green, this one being a little more faded olive and this is a little more vibrant, I still think these two pieces do go hand in hand and can complement each other. I think it helps that both of these pieces have the subtle red New Balance branding on it. But aside from that, the two hues of green I think are a good match. I could either wear these two pieces together or I can wear them separately and mix and match them with other New Balance peaches, pe pieces <laughs> separately. So the main question with this video is, are these two pieces worth the steep price point of $75 and $210 retail respectively? I'll admit that those are quite steep prices for pieces like this, but let's talk about the shirt first. Starting with the shirt, I'll be real, $75 is pretty overpriced. You know, the things that stand out about this shirt is of course the New Balance branding on the chest. The faded true camo colorway they used on this shirt is somewhat unique, but I feel like you could probably find this if you looked hard enough elsewhere for a much cheaper price. If anything, you're getting some quality considering it was made in the USA. $75 is really steep for a long sleeve t-shirt. It's not like super heavy or anything like that. 
But yeah, you, you get some uniqueness with the colorway. I would say this is definitely much more reasonable at a $30 to $40 price point. As for the 998s, with these retailing for $210, I will say that you are definitely paying for quality with these. Of course, everything would be better worth it if you can get it on sale, but if you consider all the other $200 sneakers in the market, uh, some examples are of course the Jordan Retros, uh, Ultra Boosts, and the likes, these are definitely competitive up there when it comes to quality and comfort. Quality, comfort, and style. I think these beat a lot of the $200 sneakers out there when it comes to the uniqueness, when it comes to comfort, and when it comes to just overall style. So again, $210 is quite steep for a sneaker, but it's one of those things where you can't really appreciate the steepness of the price until you have it in hand. Then you'll know why they charge that much for something like this. All in all, I'm a huge fan of the New Balance Made in USA capsule. If I had all the money in the world, uh, personally, I would actually buy up pretty much everything in that collection. But I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the New Balance Made in USA capsule? What are your thoughts on New Balance in general with the brand being progressively more hyped these past few years? Do you think they're going to have another hot year in 2024? I want to know your thoughts. Sound off in the comments below. If you have any questions about these pieces in particular, feel free to reach out and I'll help you the best I can. If you made it this far in the video, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button, it'll help me out a lot. And consider subscribing for more content on style, sneakers, and science. While you're at it, check out my other New Balance related videos here or here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.